Pocket Table mug. So pie charts. Now pie charts, you've probably seen them before, they're the ones that kind of look like pies and circles. And these show you proportions. They don't actually show you the exact number, but they show you proportion. And there's a really important thing to remember for um, pie charts, and that is that pie charts are kind of pie shapes so that in a circle. So if I draw a circle, we know that in a circle they are 360 degrees. So the total has to always equal 360 degrees. So even if you're in your question, um, you have a survey of people or whatever, so people are asked a question, and you don't have 360 people, so you can't match one person to one degree of your circle, you scale it so you always get the total equaling 360. So that will become a lot easier when we look at examples. So there are three things to do that we'll run over and then do two exam questions. So, part one. Okay, so this is the type one that you can get and it's fraction of an amount. So this is our example we have and this is our question. This pie chart shows the nail colours chosen in a salon. What fraction chose pink, white and red? So this is what a pie chart looks like. So as you can see our, our like, little pie here is the circle. And then we have in these little categories the different sections. So we have pink here, red here, white here and coral here. And they're all different sizes. And they're different sizes because they're showing this proportion. So it's quite a visual thing. So as we can see, pink here has the biggest size. So that means more people went for pink in the salon. We can see the coral's a bit smaller. So it's quite a visual idea. But we can't just use a um, bit smaller, looks bigger, you know, stuff like that. We have to do a bit more mathematically. So it's asking us what fraction were pink. So we've got the pink. And we, the only bit of information we have about pink is that it's 180. So the fraction is always the angle divided by the total, which is always 360 degrees, because there's 360 degrees in total. Just one, because we know that um, is a fact from there are 360 degrees in a circle. And two, you could add those all up if you like. didn't believe me, didn't believe maths. So, the fraction that are pink, which I've written in green, very confusing, it's like one of those games where do you say green, like say what you see or say what you read, anyway. So the angle for pink is 180 degrees divided by 360 degrees, and that is a half. So a half of people went with pink, and you can kind of see that quite visually, we know that 180 degrees is half of our circle because that's the semicircle. So let's do the next colour it asked for, which was white. So if we want to know what fraction chose the nail colour white, we do the angle, so we follow this, the angle is 80, and we divide it by the total 360. We can get rid of the zero, and then we have 8 over 36. Both of those divide by 4, and that goes into 4 two times, and that goes into 4 nine times. So two ninths of the people, that is in the simplest form, so two ninths of the people went with white nail varnish. I'm kind of taking that as French manicure. Stylish. Let's continue. What fraction went with red nail varnish? So red, written in blue, is the angle, which here we can see in the red section is 50 degrees, over the total, which is always 360 degrees. So it's this fraction this sector of the whole circle. So 50 degrees of the whole circle. So again, we can cancel that down. And I don't think 5 and 36 actually have anything in common. So 5 36 went for red nail varnish. Okay, so that's the um, type 1 you can get. So let's move on to type 2. So style 2 is drawing your own pie chart. And this um, comes up quite a lot. So we'll do there's two exam questions, I think, in which you have to draw your own. So I'm going to now write out our table of information in which we are then going to draw a pie chart from. Okay, so I've drawn out the table, and the table shows people favourite pies, lol. So here we have the table. So the pies are apple, out of apple, steak and kidney, and cottage pie. And the frequency is so that's the number of people that chose apple, steak and kidney, and cottage pie. Okay. 
I'm going to bring on a pie, but you're going to actually have to draw a circle, but here's my pie, and now I need to put this information visually on my pie. So, first of all, we know that there are th total has to be 360 degrees. So what's the total of um, our data? So that is 56 people plus 37 people plus 87. And that is equal to, if you add all that up, 180 degrees. So as we can see, we've kind of got an uh oh situation because our total is this. But to draw a pie chart, you need your total to be 360. So no big deal, we just have to do one little adjustment. So what do we do to get from 180 to 360? We multiply by 2. So then this is called our multiplier. It's 2. So we multiply all these 2 and then we can just put all these by 2 and we can just put those angles, represent them from our circle. So if we do A for apple, so 56 multiplied by 2, Okay, so important thing to do now is let's pick the centre of the circle. This is when you get your protractor and you measure super accurately all these angles. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I probably won't be doing this super accurately. Okay, so I'm now going to measure 112 degrees from this line here. So, I've measured this to be 112. So that is representing what the A, so this is the people who chose apple pie to be their favourite. What about steak and kidney? We then want an angle measurement of 74. So again, grab your protractor, zero on the line. So we measure that as an angle of 74. And then we could measure this, but we don't actually um, have to because it should be the proportion that's left. So that is what the popular cottage pie not a huge fan of cottage pie, and that will be 174. Looks a lot like 180, and I guess it is a bit similar, so looks like we've done it all right. So there we have our visual of our pie chart. So that's how you draw one. Basically, the only real hard bit is finding this multiplier. That's the hard bit, and then you just have to scale up or scale down um, your values and put draw those on like reasonably accurately. So the hard bit is finding this multiplier. Okay, so the part three thing you can get asked is work out how many people. So this kind of works the opposite way around to what we were just doing. So in this type of situation, they will give you a pie chart. So I'm just going to bring back the one we just created. And it might say, I'm going to write out some little waffle and then get back to you. Okay, so it would say something like this pie chart shows people's favourite pies. There are 180 people asked how many like steak and kidney. So basically we're working the opposite way around. So we've been given the pie chart and we're kind of working out the values that we just saw in the table. Okay, so the way you do this is you use the key bit of information here. They have to give you this piece of information, otherwise you can't really do anything. There are 180 people asked in total, and this is in total. But what do we know the total is? We know the total, when talking about pie charts and circles, is 360 degrees. So, how much would one person be? One people, one person. So to get from 180, to 1, we have to divide by 180. So we do the same on this side, so 360 divided by 180, which is 2 degrees. So from here, we've worked out that one person is equivalent to 2 degrees. So let's use that to keep it, so that's the hard bit here. And we're asked to find out how many people like steak and kidney. So we know steak and kidney here is 74 degrees. But we know that um, that's not 74 people because each person is 2 degrees. So you have to divide this by 2 to get the number of people, which is 37 people. Okay, so that's you working the other way around. So you divide. So you find out how much one person represents and then you kind of scale your angle to find out the people.
Okay, so this table shows people's favourite biscuits. We've got the digestive, the custard cream, and the shortbread. So, I, just say I'm going to put myself in the digestive category, but clearly not the popular one. So part A, which is the mode? So what do we know about mode? Talking about averages, we look at the MO, so that is the, oh, I just wrote up mode again. That is the most often. Okay, so most often is kind of most popular biscuit in this case. So which one is most popular? Nine for digestive, 15 for custard cream, and 16 for shortbread. So that is going to be the shortbread. This pen is going on the floor and I'm not using it again. Okay, so part B, draw an accurate pie chart to represent this. Okay, so this is our practice now. I'm just rolling up my sleeves and getting ready to draw my pie chart. So bring on my empty pie, here we go. Now, what do we know? What do we have to do? We know that the total has to be 360 degrees in a circle. But what is the total in this case? So the total we have for our example is 9 plus 15 plus 16, which is equal to 40. And unfortunately, 40 is not equal to 360, so there's some scaling to be done. So you can work that out by doing 360 divided by 40, and that is 9. So basically, you have to, we'll just test some numbers. You have to multiply 9, because so to get from 40 to get to 360, you multiply by 9. So that means we have to multiply all these values by 9, to then get them as good angles we can just accurately draw on. Okay, so let's do this. So digestive, which I'm going to call di, a bit morbid, is going to be 9 multiplied by 9. So now we've got everything we need to know. So yeah, just remember that this is the hard part. The hard part is finding this 9 and knowing that you have to scale them up by 9. Then it's fine. Okay, let's go to our pie chart. So let's do digestive first. Should we, so we want an 81 degree angle. I don't rub out everything as I go. Next we have an 135 degree angle for our custard cream, so I'm going to again put zero on the line. And then shortbread, it's just going to be the rest, don't really, you could check if you want. So that was 144 degrees for shortbread. Ta-da! Our pie chart is done. So yeah, the hard bit is finding this multiplier. So let's just do one more exam question. Okay, so this table shows our favourite TV channels. So here we have channel, frequency, angle. So we're going to have to fill this in. And then basically what it's asking you to do is draw a pie chart, again accurate, so I think that, basically they say accurate because I mean, you actually have to measure with your protractor, you can't just like guesstimate and like say it's that much, you have to use the protractor because it says the word accurate, which I haven't actually put here but you know do it. Interestingly, it's got it's done the total for us, so the total we know should actually equal 360 degrees but it doesn't, so how do we make 720 equal 360? And the answer to that is you divide by 2. So 720 divided by 2 is 360. So that means for all to get our angles, so I'm going to move this along into the angle column. So we want our total angle to be 360, but we were on 720. So we went this way by, we divided by 2. So we're going to have to do that to all of our channels. And then we've got the angles. And as you can see, that's exactly what's happened up there. So BBC One, so news channel. 180 divided by 2, so we're going to draw an angle of 90 degrees. BBC 2, not sure what programs are actually on BBC 2, is 144 divided by 2, which is 72 degrees. ITV, shout out to Love Island, 168 divided by 2, so that's going to actually be represented in an 84 degree angle. So I'm just going to 
to order my um, pie chart. Okay, so I need to put this information on here. So let's get the centre, a bit rough. Okay, so let's get my protractor so I can measure very accurately all these angles. So I'm going to start from this random line. And BBC1 is an angle of 90 degrees. And that is here. And it's a right angle, so we can do it as a one of those. Put 90 and put BBC1. So that's accurate. That is perfecto. Let's keep going. BBC2 is an angle of what? 72. So put my zero on this line. ITV is an angle of 84, so again, put this on your line on zero. They will actually check that you've measured these correctly in an exam, so like, actually do it. And channel 4, if it's not all completely rubbed out by now, was 114. So, so that's 114 degrees, so that's a nice check to do. And this is channel 4, and here we have a very, very, very accurate pie chart.